Hey guys, in this video I made a functional web shooter from 3D printed parts and the cool part is it doesn't use any springs or magnets. To begin with let's hop into the design part. It took me several weeks of trial and error to get the reliable design for this web shooter. I will be leaving links to all of these STL files in the description below. Make sure to follow the same settings which I used if you are making this project. I used a combination of red and black PLF elements to print all the parts. It took me quite a while to get all the parts done. Once the printing is complete, we need to clean some of the parts as we used supports while printing. Part 1 and part 2 which I call main body and piston needs careful cleaning. For final touch we can use sandpaper. It will be a little tricky but not impossible to remove support structures from the lock mechanism. After all the supports are removed we can assemble the parts which can be done in a few minutes. To initiate the web shooting, I will be using this fish wire, which will be added to lock with these twists and turns. To keep the thread intact, I will be tying 3 knots. I will be using these long screws which I got from my old DC motor. You can scavenge your old toys for these screws. Now we can add elastic band which drives this web shooter. Just add to the slots provided. And pull back the piston part. You should hear a click sound which says that the piston is locked. I will be using these velcro strips to make this web shooter wearable. For the web we have two options, one is letting the web free and the other is thread lock 
which you can do with a small ball. Just add other end of the thread to the ball and insert inside the main body side slot. Now we can test our web shooter. Just pull this trigger to lock and insert the web part. Just pull the string and you can see the web flying. Hope you enjoyed this idea. Thank you for watching.